Ahoy Panama City! Right, I'm going to level with you. I can't really afford to be here. In fact, at the minute, I can't really afford to do much. I can't even afford to pay attention. The travel fund is not looking good. We're running on fumes, but I'm here because I've got a flight overlay for a couple of days. Usually what I do is just sit in a resort, sneak into a resort from my £10 hostel and uh, get sunburned because I can't afford the sunscreen. A bar of Cadbury's chocolate here that's £1 in England is £12 in Panama Airport. And that's just not my style. I can't afford to be in these countries that are really expensive. So I'm going to try to make the most of it and spend a whole day spending as little money as possible building up to seeing some massive boats going through the Panama Canal. It's 10 o'clock in the morning now. The canal is busiest between 3 and 5. So before that, we're going to head down to a place called Casa Vieja. Apologies for the uh, pronunciation, which is the old town, which apparently is colourful and beautiful and a good place to get a coffee. From there, we're going to go to an inner city rainforest, which apparently is full of monkeys and sloths. So I'm willing for that. And then we'll finish off at the canal. Escalator out of order. Gosh, every big lad's worst nightmare. Stairs it is. If I ever had a kid, I'd tell him to be an escalator repairman. You're never going to be out of work, are you? So, in the name of saving money, we've topped up our metro cars. This works across all buses and trains all over Panama, and it's about 75 American cents per journey, so it's absolutely brilliant. That's 33 degrees out there. It's nice and cool down here with AC. So, yeah, let's crack on, see what's occurring. Keep a tally of every single penny I'm spending all day. So, this is the first trip on public transport costing 75 cents. On it. There's the city, all the skyscrapers. It's amazing that, you know. Then there's a bridge over here, and this is the old town, and that's where we're heading. First stop, coffee stop. Give me right bollock for one. Gasping for one. Oh, yeah. Fuck's sake, that made me shit myself, that. What I was trying to say was, oh, yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is a bit of me, this is. Can't beat an old town. First place that sells coffee I'm going in. $2.50. Not bad at all. And it is buying. Oof. Oh, I'm so happy to admit that I'm dependent on coffee. It just makes me happy. God, it is so nice around here. I'm loving it. It's like Cuba. Although I've never been, but this is what I imagine it's like. All the colours, plants on the windowsills. God, that coffee was nice as well. I feel proper revved up after that. Look at that. What's in there? Bloody hell. Have a look. Boost. That is ace. Wonder what they're doing there. A lot of the shops are selling these Panama hats. Although the Panama hat, ironically, isn't actually from Panama, it's from Ecuador. Panamanians claimed it as their own, but it was actually Ecuador who started all that. Another interesting stat is that Panama was the first place outside the USA to ever sell Coca-Cola in the early 1900s. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about interesting, but it's a start nonetheless. I generally think that this is the most beautiful town square that I have ever been in. Ever. Anywhere. Just look at it. Blossom. Architecture colours. Market stalls. It's just unreal. I cannot recommend this area highly enough. Demo coffee, have a wander, palm trees, colours. It's absolutely ace. Right, now we've got to catch two buses to hopefully see a sloth in that park. Down got a clue where I go. Please use my phone, hang on. There we go. Look at that. It's gotta be right. The fact that the sign's got my name on it is definitely a good sign, surely. You can hear all sorts of crazy animal noises coming from all there. A parrot, it sounds like. Oh, God, I hope I see a parrot. But if I come out of here and I, don't, I haven't seen a parrot, a monkey, or a sloth, I am gonna be well pissed off. <laughs> Yeah, indeed. Right, we're off. Chalk up another four dollars. I'll save you all the hoo-ha, but basically you get your wristband and you pay four dollars, then someone explains all the different routes for you. I've chosen a path that's going to take 90 minutes. That should be good timing now for getting to the canal. <sighs> Come on. Monkey, sloth, parrot. Can't see anything yet. We've only been in here like 20 seconds and just look how dense it is. I'm loving it. Proper jungle. Rainforest styley.
Oh yeah, look at it. Tell you what, gonna need go go gadget eyeballs to see these monkeys. Look. Little turtle. Normally, I'd be impressed with that. But we're not here for you, pal. I think I might actually want it too much. So I might just take a new philosophy and just walk and not really give a shit. And then suddenly I know where a monkey and a sloth and a parrot will all appear in front of me and I'll be like, yeah, nice. It is intensely hot and humid. I'm doing a lot of walking. I just don't understand how I'm still a fat bastard. I do a lot of walking and all I do is drink water and coffee and all I eat is burgers, pizza and kebab. Don't get it. I'm baffled. There's something here. What's that? What is that? It's on all fours. It looks like a large rat. I've got no idea what that was. No idea, I've never seen one. I've never seen anything like that. It was just like a massive brown rat. The size of like a Jack Russell dog. Just walking around, didn't even give a shit I was there. Oh, brave. Fair play. <sighs> Getting pissed off. We're about 50% of the way around. And I've seen a turtle and a big rat. This is not what I signed up to. Cannot see anything. <sighs> if we leave here empty handed, I'm gonna be proper gutted. I really am. Halfway though, still time. They said they'd seen some monkeys up here. Not a sloth though. They're gonna be hard to spot though, aren't they? Because they do nothing and they're quiet and they just sleep. They just find a place up top and sleep. I'll take a monkey at this point. She said to me on the way in, no feeding the animals. No danger of that, is there? Do any fucking animals? joke it's a joke there's nothing here oh man that was steep that there's only about 20% left can't believe it can't believe I haven't seen anything 20% left monkey monkey yes hang on is that a monkey what the fuck is it is that another one of those rat things? Ah, oh, it's not a monkey. Well, I don't know what that is. It's the same thing I saw earlier. It's not a rat at all, is it? Beggars can't be choosers, whatever it is, it's better than nothing. A German fella has just told me that that is called a nose bear. Or Kowati, I think, Kowati, he said. In a strong German accent, so my pronunciation will be well off. But yeah, apparently it translates to a nose bear. It'll do for now. Fuck it all. I want to see a monkey. Come on, for Christ's sake. But if I come out of here and I don't, I haven't seen a parrot, a monkey, and a sloth. On the way out, they should have a monkey, a sloth, and a parrot just sitting at the exit for those who have come and walked around for two hours like us and haven't seen a thing apart from a nose bear and a turtle. At least that way you get to see one because you've just got no chance. I've been looking so carefully and I've been so quiet for so long and you just cannot see anything. Right, onto the canal. <laughs> Imagine if we get to the canal and don't see a boat. Oh, surely you've got to see a boat in a canal. Surely I can't be that unlucky. When I get back to Yorkshire, go to my mum's house, I might put a sign up saying $4, monkey garden. There's no monkeys there either. About to get an Uber because I thought my legs were going to fall off and I was too hot and bothered. Chalk up another fibre. Right, reset. <laughs> Bada bear base, you had a sit down. Now I'm in a line for the tickets, which I don't know quite how much they are, but I think they're around a $20 mark. This is the Mira Flores Blocks Visitor Centre of the Panama Canal. Thank 
Christ, the escalator's working. Oof, lordy. I am genuinely excited about this. This is something that I've wanted to do for as long as I can remember. Don't know, uh, don't know where the boats are. There it is. Coming this way, I think. Look at that, there's a proper viewing platform, seats and everything. And we await it. It's coming, nice and slowly. Apparently the captain has to relinquish the wheel to an employee of the Panama Canal who uh, drives all the boats through himself because he's so used to doing it. And it costs thousands, thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands sometimes. And the cheapest fare ever was less than 50 cents in like 1920 something or something, I think it was, when an American guy swam through it. But you start to pay like 38 cents, I think it was. Perfect timing. Can't believe how well we timed this. Look at that bugger, it's a massive. Entrance was $17. Chalk it up, 13,000 ships go through a year, generating $2 billion for the Panamanian economy. 13,000 ships, that is brilliant, isn't it? What a good do it is. Yeah, it's definitely going down. You can see where it was. See where it is. See those yellow markers? There. That's where the water was. You can see the line. So it's gone down probably about four feet, five feet. This woman on the tannoy hasn't shut up since I got here. I haven't understood a single word, so um, let me just try to describe what's happening. Lower the water, get that there, over there, Avanti. Simple as that for me. It's going now, going down. Probably about 12 feet, I would say now. Struggling of ways to keep keep you interested, keep it exciting. I'm just like so slower than what to do. My editor hopefully can put some cool music against it. Harry, make this exciting. The Panama Canal, a 51 mile waterway in Panama that connects the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean with over 13,000 ships passing through this canal each year. Wow, what a sight. I don't think it's far off now. It's definitely gone down a long way now. You can see how far below the boat is. There you go. Right, both sets of gates are open. It's off. Here it comes. Faster than a speeding bullet. Blink and you'll miss it. What a good do. Hey laddie. Give us a wave. Cool job that, innit? Oh. Look how big that ship is. That is absolutely huge. How on earth do they float? Look at that. There you have it, it's all the way through. Both gates closed up again. Boat on the other side coming through, and there'll be another one coming through over there. It takes 10 hours in total to get from right at that very end through all the lakes and everything else through here and over to that side. And from the Panama Canal, you can see the sun rise from one ocean and set in the other ocean. It's incredible. Slow, but incredible. There it is, it's all the way down and it's off to complete its journey ocean to ocean. What a good do. There it goes. Bon voyage. Nice. Included in the ticket is a ticket to the IMAX to see a film, but I can't be bothered. See? Another broken escalator. It's like one in three, isn't it? Worldwide broken. Look at the size of this gift shop. It's absolutely huge. Right, and there we are. Panama Canal done. Day in Panama for not quite sure the total. We need to add another fiver on for the Uber I'm about to get which puts us probably under $35, which is about £28-ish, is my guess. So yeah, happy with that. There's another boat about to come through, but there's only so much excitement I can take in one day. So we are up anchor from Panama. See you on the next one, wherever that may be.